Brendan Smith's parents had flown into New York to watch their son play at the Garden on Monday against the Islanders. Which they were able to do for one second. That is because, after coming on for his first shift at 2.12, Smith received a game misconduct at 2.13 for engaging in a secondary fight with Matt Martin. Referees Frederick Lekire and Steve Kazari applied Rule 46.7, which mandates a game misconduct for any player who has assessed a major penalty for fighting after the original altercation has started. The fight occurred after Michael Haley had fought Ross Johnston at 2.12. As the teams lined up for the ensuing draw in front of the Islanders' bench, Martin engaged Smith just as linesman Tony Saracolo pulled back from dropping the puck in order to wave Greg McKegg out of the circle. So instead of fighting in conjunction with the draw, the two combatants unintentionally violated the letter of the law. The referees, after a huddle with the linesman, went with the broken windows approach to policing. Thing is, they could have excused Smith regardless, because the rule does not grant discretion on the game misconduct if one player is the clear aggressor. That was Martin. I don't blame Matt at all. Smith, who will get another shot against Martin and the Islanders on Thursday at the Coliseum, told The Post. I know what he's trying to do for their team, trying to get momentum, but what choice do I have there? I either let myself get beaten up by not engaging or I get thrown out of the game if I do. Matt's trying to get a grip on me, he didn't want to square off, and that's okay, but I have to be able to protect myself and respond. He didn't know the linesman was going to have kind of a fake drop there. It was a consensual fight, no damage was done. It's not Matt's fault, but I think I got the short end of it. I think Steve and Fred cost me a game, unfortunately. And Smith's parents a chance to see their son on the ice for more than one second. Brendan Lemieux, sidelined for the past eight games since sustaining a broken left hand when struck by a puck on December 27, participated in practice for the first time but there is no timetable for his return. Lemieux has been skating through his rehab process. He just got cleared, so day to day, coach David Quinn said. When we feel like he's ready, he'll go in.